What's up, pickleballers? It's the Pickleball Dad here to present All Drive No Drops Best Pickleball Paddles right now. I just see it asked so much. What's the best pickleball paddle for this category? What's the best pickleball paddle overall? I'm just gonna get into what my favorite paddles are right now, break it down by categories, and we're gonna start off with best overall. If you wanna skip to a certain category, I'm not gonna get my feelings hurt, don't worry. So let's just get into my favorite paddle right now. This is the paddle I'm bringing to tournament. This is what I'm laying down when I go on the courts, when I'm doing it for real. It's the Mach 2 Forza. 14 millimeter from Volair. I absolutely love this paddle. It is a wide body paddle and I never thought I was gonna play with wide body paddles. I was, I've been playing with elongated for two years, but the Volair Mach 2 Forza 14 millimeter is an amazing paddle. 6.99 twist weight, 108 swing weight, love that combo. To get that lower swing weight with the higher twist weight, just gives you a nice sweet spot, keeps the hands paddles going so nice. The pop on this thing, is great too to com just comboing the twist weight, the swing weight with the great pop and top tier spin 2318 RPM, which is the highest from my testing. I mean, it's just a great, you do lack a little bit of finishing power. So, I mean, no paddle is perfect. That's the drawback. So if you do want more finishing power, then that's going to be the drawback for this paddle. Um, for me, I just, the combination of all those stats and just the way it performs on the court, I love it. So let's, uh, let's move on. Cause I do have two runner ups that I really do enjoy. And one of them actually was my main paddle. We'll save that for the, uh, the third one, but six zero double black diamond. Now this thing is great. And the Volair 162 with a discount code, I'll drive no drop. The double black diamond, also 162 with a discount code, all no drop, all drive no drop. So I'm just gonna give you the 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 price after the discount because I imagine everyone wants to save money and that's the price they're looking at. So this is an amazing paddle as well. I think a, a lot of people pick this as their best paddle overall. And if you don't want to go with the wide body, I think this is an excellent paddle to go with. Just solid all around doesn't do anything exceptionally well. It just performs well all around. Great control, great spin, pretty good power, pretty good pop. Nothing, the power and the pop are just okay, right? But it, it just holds up so well. You, you're, not, you're not really lacking in any area. So it's that's that's why it's just so good. It fits so many people. I think anyone could really pick up the uh, double black diamond 60 millimeter and they would do great on the court. So my other runner up which was my previous long time paddle is the pickleball apes pro line energy it has the kevlar carbon fiber weave which i think was the first paddle to do it so props to pickleball apes and this is a 17 inch paddle so you know i got the 15.88 inches in the volair the 16.3 length with the uh, double black diamond, and you go all the way up to 17. So I'm giving a little bit of, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't discriminate when it comes to length. I like it all. Uh, great power, pretty good pop, um, Ritz Smitten, uh, pretty good control. Uh, it really does it all. The swing weight's 122. There's our drawback. It's a little slower in the hands. Um, so that does start getting into the swing weights where it does start affecting some people. For me, it wasn't a huge issue. I think a lot of people would enjoy the extra reach if that's something that you're looking for. And overall, I can't wait to see what Pickleball Apes um, does in the future. They haven't released anything recently. And obviously, 6-0 um, Volair just released stuff recently. So really excited to see all three. Those are my best three overall paddles. Let's move into the next category, which is power. So no surprise here, it's the uh, Gearbox Pro Power Elongated. My top power and pop, it's just, you don't get that that combination with any other paddle that I've tried. So easy pick for best power. And it gets, you know, around 2000 RPM in spin. Control is obviously gonna be the weak point when you have that much power, that much pop. Um, the sweet spot 
is not the greatest. You, you do notice a drastic power and pop difference when you're hitting off center, more so than other paddles just because of that top end power. Uh, so that's that's where you really need to be careful is like some people can't control this, some people can. This paddle is $275, so keep that in mind. No discount codes for the gearbox, so we do have to keep that in account. The best spin category, goes to the Mach Forza family. These are the Mach 1 Forzas, 14 and 16. The Mach 2 Forzas, I got just as great spin. Some people are getting more spin on the Mach 2 Forza, 14 millimeter. I got more on the Mach 1 Forza, 14 millimeter, but I do think or the Mach 2 Forza, 14 millimeter gets more spin on just like the swinging volleys and the speed ups, just because it's a little bit easier to maneuver, lower swing weight. But the Mach uh, Forza family, best spin, Around 2,300 RPM for all of them. I think pretty much a consensus around the industry that they have the best spin. But I think I think other paddles are catching up. But right now, if you want that elite spin, the Mach Forza family is where you want to go. So next up is the best all court paddle. And I'm pretty excited to talk about that. So my best all court paddle is the 6-0 Ruby just so much fun to play with it is on the heavier side sometimes because the weight does range average of 8.2 ounces so keep that in mind if you are weight sensitive but in all kevlar face it just feels so plush the control is great pretty good power the pop is a little lacking but honestly i think if you can handle the weight you put this in anyone's hands and you're just going to feel really comfortable all around the court i really enjoyed it this is uh start we're starting to get a little bit pricier 180 with a with a discount code i'll drive no drop but and, and it's i think it's sold out right now and so it's every time it's sold out which just shows you people love it and i did say that i like the double black diamond better but you know i think this the more you play with it the more it grows on you just because it feels a little bit different when you're hitting the ball with the the full kevlar face and I think it probably takes a little longer to get adjusted to for some people. And especially when you've been playing carbon fiber forever. And I mean, so I, and I have played the carbon fiber Kevlar weaves, but I think it just, it just is different when you have the full Kevlar. 34.9 miles per hour pop with the Ruby. So, cause I mean, a lot of people have been asking, this is the hybrid shape too, right? Um, next up we have the best value paddle. And I picked the Spartus Gladius Centurion. It's my favorite paddle. It's $90 with this discount code, all drive, no drop. My favorite value paddle to this. Uh, just plays, just a great all court paddle in my opinion. Um, it does everything that you need to do for a Gen 2 thermal form paddle. It's gonna have enough power to put the ball away. The pop is okay. The spin, great, 2000 RPM, 5.5 inch handle, enough to do two handed backhands with those forehands, great control. It just holds up very well. The quality is great, I love the looks. So that's my favorite, but I do have some honorable mentions. The Vatic Prism Flash, which I don't have on hand, but just a great control paddle for $90. You you really can't get better, and it's not thermoform, so some people, they don't like the thermoform. It's a, if you are looking for a paddle and you just really have a hard time with your soft game, the Vatic Prism Flash, probably the best choice you can get. Uh, we have the uh, speed up 14 millimeter fire here. Just a a great solid quality paddle. This is 108, uh, and it is a six inch handle. This is great for tennis players that are just looking to get their first paddle transitioning. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we're looking at a smaller sweet spot with a smaller face, so keep that in mind. But if if you're looking uh, for something that plays more like a tennis racket, I think this is a great value. And then another shout out to one of my former main paddles, the Neonic 416 millimeter. This thing, just like the uh, Spartus, does everything very well, rounded paddle, high quality. I used this for four months, not a problem. No quality issues for me on that. So Neonic 416 millimeter for $90. Can't go wrong there either. My best lightweight category goes to the Groovin' Movin' 13S and 16S, so fast, 100 swing weight, 
104 swing weight for the 16. And these are 162 after discount code all drive, all drop. I, these are just so much fun to play with. I, there's no other paddle that plays like these on the market, especially with how light the swing weight is. And then we, we have twist weights of over six on both. We have a twist weight of 6.35 on the 13S and we have a twist weight of 6.89 on the 16S. To get that swing weight and twist weight combo, it just makes your hands feel electric. And then the 13S, the pop is, whew, I think it's the second highest I have after the gearbox. So you're just body bagging people all day with that swing weight and pop combo. And then the, the 16S, it plays more like a control paddle. So to get something that plays more like a control paddle with a 104 swing weight is great. You do have a smaller face here. These are shorter paddles, 15.7 inches in length, but you still have the longer handle. So for some people, it will be a problem just because they are a little bit smaller of paddles, but they are a lot of fun. They also get great spin, around 2000 RPM. I recommend both the 13S. I've seen some reviews say that this is a control paddle. This is not a control paddle. It, I mean, it does have a high twist weight, but with how much pop this thing has, not a control paddle. I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. 16S, this could be a control paddle. This doesn't, this is just average pop. And, and it's a four swing weight difference. So if you want to go with something that's just super fast in your hands, but you can still reset like a boss, 16S. And they come in fun colors. Shout out to Groovin. Love that they make all the different shapes that they make. And then I do want to give another shout out for an honorable mention to the Electrum Stealth series, especially the Model E Stealth, which is an elongated paddle that edgeless, super fast on the hands. I don't think there's another elongated paddle that feels as fast in the hands as the Model E Stealth. And I don't think a lot of people did reviews on this. Uh, so a great one. I think it's 180 now. I've seen it going on sale. It's been ranging. It's, it was like 229 and I've seen like 169, 170. So I don't know. Who knows what the price is when you look at it, but not a terrible one. And then the other two, I hope to try, but I have heard good things, but you do need the add lead tape. That's the one problem with these that separates them from the Groovins is they're they're just not playable stock for me. Too much twist in the hands. My last category, but there'll be more in the future, who knows, is the best control paddle. I know what everyone's thinking. I think everyone picks the same control paddle, but you know what? The Mach 2 is a 16 millimeter. This is my favorite control paddle on the market right now. We're talking about a 7.37 twist weight with a 112 swing weight in 2300 RPM I mean, for spin. I mean, just such a great control paddle. It is a wide body paddle. So if it's gonna get it'll scare you a little bit, I'm telling you now, don't be scared. Just improve your footwork. This thing is great. It resets like a boss. I There's no paddle that I've played with that is just so sturdy in your hands. Maybe you can reset better with the Prism Flash, but this thing blocking drives is just so sturdy. So if you find the paddle twisting in your hand because the bangers are banging on you, give the Volair Mach 2 Forza 16 millimeter a try. But besides that, I'm not really a control player, so I don't use it as often, but I just know that it is very good. So honorable mentions, the Selkirk Lux Control Air, I think everyone picked this as their favorite control paddle. It is good. I personally don't enjoy it. Um, not a huge fan of paddles with the hole in the throat. It just bothers me. I don't know why. I just like, I sometimes when I hit that area and then, you know, the ball just doesn't do what I want it to do because it's hitting the hole, which I don't do that often, but for some reason it's a, it's a mental block for me. I do enjoy the colors that they make their, uh, you know, their control airs and their power airs. Fun color schemes. Great paddle, expensive, 250, I believe. And then, uh, you know, 162 for the Volair. I mean, I just, I can't, I can't recommend the Lux over it. Also shout out to the Rhombus Nova R1. Not as great of control, but it is more of like, they call it a Gen 2.5 slash three thermoform paddle because it, it's not thermoformed all the way. It's a cross weave on the outer edges. I do enjoy the Rhombus Nova R1. So if you're having trouble with some thermoforms, just you feel like the ball's popping off too fast. The ball doesn't pop off as fast on this one. 
uh, I do, so I do enjoy that. And then, of course, a shout out again to the Vatic Prism Flash, which is just an amazing control paddle for ninety dollars. It's hard to beat when you're if you're just looking for the best value control. Go get yourself the Vatic Prism Flash. If you want to take a step up and you want a little bit more spin, you want a little bit more power. Go with the Volair Mach 2 Forza 16. All the categories I have, I don't even know how many paddles I've tested. We're talking whew, over the past year, probably, I don't even know, 60. So a lot of sweat, a lot of tears goes into this, but I hope to keep bringing you more stuff. If I missed a paddle, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what one I need to try. I've got a lot of fun reviews coming up. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a like if you enjoyed your time with me and i would like to hear what paddle is your favorite paddle and you can give me some categories if you want to i would love to hear if you use a paddle for different situations you use different paddle for men's women's mixed you know use a different paddle for windy days i don't know let me know what you're doing in your pickleball game i'd love to hear about it thank you for watching have a great day and keep playing pickleball